Hey everybody, it's your girl Charity. I'm gonna be doing a video today on a thrift store slash discount haul. So last week um, I had an interview downtown Brooklyn and it was on the same street as um, Goodwill. So I was like, oh snap, I haven't been to Goodwill in a while. So um, yeah, I, did, I didn't get that much stuff because I don't really, I'm not really like that patient when it comes to like thrifting and like discount stores, I don't really like to um dig through stuff or like look through stuff if it's not like organized and stuff. So um yeah, so usually like I will go to like purses and shoes and then maybe buy clothes. Um so yeah, that's what I did first when I went there. The first thing I looked at was the bags and um I found like a a couple of cute bags so I found this Betsy Johnson bag for ten dollars and Betsy Johnson is my favorite designer so I was like hell yeah I'm keeping this so that's my one little thingy um this I don't know Betsy Johnson's kind of expensive so I feel like it was probably like at least sixty dollars and then this one I'm really really excited about um this I think it's pronounced Brahmin I know it's a designer handbag um I think I've seen them like in magazines and online and stuff and I knew like this was a good deal um I'm probably going to sell this because even though I like it a lot, I don't, it doesn't really go with anything I own, like the colors. I don't really have any like khaki neutrally colors like this. I'm like more gravitate towards cool colors. Um, so yeah, I, I like it a lot, but I think I am, I'm going to sell this. Um, I know like the original price, I looked it up online, I think it was like $63, but, um, these it sold out on that website so i was like and i saw a bunch on websites like mercari and poshmark so yeah i'm gonna see what i can do with this and then this honestly is like the favorite thing that i got last week from goodwill um i found like these really cool um patent leather dkny boots um yeah i was like so excited about this and they were in my size i tried them on they looked great like they're my style and um honestly like i don't know if you could tell um they're kind of like scuffed um but there's not anything like really that wrong with them they're just like a little bit dirty and like a little scuffed but i googled um how to clean patent leather and so yeah, I'm gonna just clean them up a little bit. I might do a video on that, like me restoring that. Um, all right, so for Goodwill, that's it. I was gonna um, browse through the clothes, but nothing was sized, which I found weird. Um, I know like in the past, I always used to go to Goodwill and their clothes were always sized. But like I said, when I went this past weekend, like nothing was sized and then like I went through it a little bit to see if maybe it was but it wasn't marked and it wasn't yeah it wasn't really by size and I was just like I do not have the patience for this so I like I just did a walk through you know walked around <laughs> looked at like stuff um I kind of like glanced at the dresses and like see if any like material or pattern caught my eyes but like I said I was um I don't know I don't I don't have the patience for stuff like that so I just got the boots and the bags and I left um yeah and um also so there's well actually no let me go to um Dollar Tree now um so yeah so when I um when I was looking up how to clean patent leather it said um like to use like mild soap and water and a microfiber cloth so i got one of those at dollar tree um i don't even know why i'm showing this but yeah this is what i'm gonna use to clean the boots um 
I got a lot of stuff at Dollar Tree, but I'm just going to show like the cute things that I got. Not anything basic. I mean, that was basic, but that's for my boots. Um, I found like a cute little handheld mirror. Let me put it up so you can see like the little design that I got. Really cute. Um, I've been needing a little handheld mirror and it's only a dollar, so why not? Um, loofahs. I think every time I go to Dollar Tree, I get a loofah. <laughs> um, oh uh, yeah. My Yardley soap. Whenever I go to um, Dollar Tree, I think that's one of my favorite things about Dollar Tree is that they carry Yardley soaps for a dollar or a dollar twenty-five now. But yeah, so I always gotta get myself a Yardley because that's my favorite brand of soap. And then um, I found like an eye cream. I ran out of eye cream last week, and um, yeah, I've been kind of broke. Um, it doesn't really. Say anything about wrinkles on this eye cream but I figured like putting something right now is better than nothing until I get a new eye cream so this is gonna be like my little interim eye cream until I get my good eye cream <laughs> all right so next um there's a store in Brooklyn called Unbox. USA I think it opened like a little over a year ago and um I've been hearing like a lot about it and I don't know why I never like passed by and then um I recently found their Instagram page and I've been like following them on Instagram and I was like yeah you know what like I want to go I want to check the store out um so Last week I was pet sitting and um, I was like going to my grandmother's house and it happens to be in my grandmother's neighborhood. So um, yeah, so I went there and then you know, went to go visit her after. So um, honestly, I don't, I mean, I think it's a store I would probably go to once in a while, but I don't see myself like going there a lot. Um, it's one of those stores where they have like bins and it's just like a bunch of stuff in bins and then like every day is a different price so like the first day everything's ten dollars except for the furniture all the furniture is like 70 percent off the original price i believe um and i didn't really like i haven't wanted to go there for furniture i probably will go back one day for furniture um just to see what they have um but yeah like i I wasn't gonna get furniture that day because I was just getting my grandmother. So I just kind of, um, same thing like Goodwill. Like I said, I don't have the patience. So I just kind of like did a walk around the store and like, you know, was glancing at everything. And um, with the bins, like if I saw anything that caught my eye, you know, like fabric, texture, whatever, I would look at it, you know, but I'm, I'm not the type of person who's gonna sit there and like dig through a bin all day long. I don't have the time for that. I mean, I kind of do, but no, I can't. Like, I don't have the patience. So, um, I went through, they had one bin full of shoes. Of course, that one I went through because I'm a shoe nut. And I didn't see any purses. Um, I didn't see any purses in the whole store. But while I was walking around, I found this Kipling bag in one of the bins. And it's, you know, it's a real Kipling bag. It has, like, the original price on it and everything. And the day that I went, um, everything was $5. So it was, like, $5 for a Kipling bag? Like, hell yeah. So I grabbed that. And like I said, this was the only bag I saw in the whole store. So I don't know if, like, maybe just everybody had bought the bags already. Um, I don't know. But yeah, so I grabbed that. And then, um... See, this was name brand. Um, I don't believe that they sell Kipling and Target, but I noticed that everything else in the store was from Target. Um, I believe like they buy Overstock or something, and they just sell it for cheaper. So when I was going through the shoes, I found these um platform loafers. I thought they were really cute. Like I've been needing like some cute simple black shoes to like go with my dresses and stuff so it's like hell yeah five dollars 
And um, this is also, like I said, everything's Target, Target brand. Um, so this was the brand Wild Fable that they carry. And it's $40. So, hey, hey. $35 savings. <laughs> um, and then I found a pair of jeans. Um, it's the Denizen for Levi's brand. And yeah, these were $30. Um, they're just like, I just need a pair of jeans. They're just regular straight leg jeans. I guess I'll stand up for a second. Um, yeah, straight leg jeans. Um, I needed some straight leg or wide leg jeans. So I got these. And um, oh yeah, and then I found like some lace tights. I've been needing some new tights, like I said again, to like go with some of my dresses. So I got that, um, again, $5, and, okay, I'm almost finished, <laughs> and then, all right, so that's everything from that store, like I said, it's called Unbox, and it's, um, in Sunset Park, Brooklyn, it's not Greenwood Heights, there's no such thing as Greenwood Heights, people, <laughs> sorry, I just, like, get really upset when, like, people change the names of neighborhoods in Brooklyn, all right, that was my little gripe for the day. Okay, and then my last thing that I got, um, this is not, oh, wait, wait, I almost forgot my candle. I got this from the Unbox store. Um, I gotta be careful because I'm burning it right now. Um, this is a, whoo, trying not to burn my ass, Chesapeake Bay candle for $5. Um, Probably like $15 originally. I don't know. We know like those candles are expensive. Okay, so I'm done with unboxed now. Um, okay, and then like I said, this last thing that I got is not from a discount store at all. But I got it on like a super discount. So I got um this little Ellis Brooklyn rollerball set. Okay, so the original price of this was, I, I had to, um, they're like loose because it took me forever to get them out. So like, I have them loose in there. I'm going to take them out now that I showed you guys, but I just kept it in here until, you know, I showed you and now I will put them away and store them with all my other perfumes. But, um, yeah, I got off track there a little bit. Um. Okay, so the original price of this was $48. Um, and I got an alert like a few weeks ago that it was on sale, um, like $10 off. So I was like, okay, that's good. And then I also had um, $10 worth of points from Sephora. So I wound up um, paying $28 for this, $20 off the original price and honestly like I think that's excellent because um they also have like a sampler pack of perfumes and it's literally like those little tiny sample sizes and it's $21 for those little tiny sample sizes that you should not have to pay for like I refuse to buy any perfume set that has those little sample sizes because I'm constantly getting them for free. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways. So, <laughs> the little set, and I think it has, like, five or six, like, little tiny sample sizes of perfumes. It's $21. And I got this for $28. So, that's the kind of shopping that I do. Like, you know, like, that's the kind of thing that I think is worth it. Like, I, I don't know. I don't think I would have paid $48 for this little thingy. So, um... Yeah, and then also, like, Ellis Brooklyn is a brand of perfumes that, like, I see all over social media. And I've been wanting to um, try them out forever. And I believe, like, these are, like, all their best sellers. And thank the Lord, um, I actually like all of them except for West. West is a little too, like, plant, like, green smelling to me. It says... Yeah, it says blood orange, basil, and oak moss. And I don't know. It's okay. I'll, I'll probably will, um, it smells kind of manly to me also. 
I think I'm, you know, I mean, I'm going to keep it. I'll probably mix it with another one. Um, yeah, but I mean, it doesn't smell bad. It's just not the kind of scent that I like. And then my, you know, honestly, out of the other ones, I can't really decide which is my favorite. I like all of them. Honestly, I think I'm going to say that B is my favorite. Um, it smells like chocolate, honey, and is it bourbon or rum? Oh, it's rum. Yeah, so it's honey, dark rum, and cocoa absolute. It smells really good. Um, and then sweet, I know a lot of people, I always see people wearing this on like Instagram and stuff. And it does smell really good. I like it a lot. But um, this one's like more different. You know, like I feel like sweet, smells like a lot of other sweet perfumes but i kind of like this one because it just smells different it smells like a nice little drink <laughs> a little yummy drink and then these two myth and salt i am going to say for summer because they're both light um perfumes and i don't know why i feel like warm gourmand perfumes are better in winter and fall i don't know that's just a personal preference to me and I always like save lighter scents for summer and spring. Um, so yeah, so Myth, let's see, what was Myth? Myth is Jasmine, Cassis, and White Musk. So yeah, I, I really like, I'm a big Musk fan. So Myth is very yummy. Yeah, probably. And then um, Salt, I will probably definitely for summer. This smells like such a summer scent. It's like very tropical, but like very light. It says, mmm. Tahitian Tierra, Amber Grease, and Sandalwood. So it's like light but gourmand, like creamy, you know, like a warm at the same time. And then sweet is pear, orris, which I googled and is the same thing as iris and marshmallow. So um, I'm, I discovered that I'm a fan of iris and perfumes. So yeah, like this is one of my favorites, but the B I really like a lot. Like it's just different to me. I feel like not a lot of perfumes smell like this. Um, alrighty, and I think I'm done for today. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. Um, I don't know. I was gonna do, um, I was gonna do like a little get ready with me, but I don't know. I've kind of like been in a funk this past week. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm trying to like do more of these and be more consistent with it because i know like that's the only way that i'm gonna get anywhere with these um but i don't know like I've, I've said before about you know i have um anxiety so sometimes it's just like really hard for me um but yeah i finally um got an editing app so i'm gonna be playing around with that and try to learn some new things <laughs> and um yeah, I guess that's it. And um I'll see you I'll see you guys later. Bye.